Hi, I'm Eric Mikitin. I'm an architect in Berkeley, California. I'm here in my office courtyard. I've been in practice for about 25 years on my own. And when I came to the Architects Marketing Academy um, Intensive Summit in San Francisco about five months ago, I was feeling frustrated with a lot of things that were going on. I had an inconsistent clientele, uh, irregular design opportunities, and marginal pay for having been at this for so long. I felt like I was constantly chasing jobs, putting in tremendous amount of effort up front, and then often not getting the work because I realized that I was having to sort of compete um, on the price with other architects. Um, I also felt um, a deep conflict that, uh, that I've had my entire career, which is that I'm a wheelchair rider and people have often pigeonholed me as being an accessibility um, technician, really. And I'm passionate about universal design and I want to incorporate it in absolutely everything I do. But um, I don't want to be, be tagged as a, uh, as a technician. And so in my work, I've sort of struggled with that and, and kept it at arm's length, if you will. Um, and Richard and the gang made me realize that I needed to embrace it, that that was my potential niche. And that doesn't mean that that's the only type of project that I get and that it's, I can use that as a lever uh, for getting other types of work. And that by going through the structured process of the AMA, and I did, I did all the tools, um, which was actually a fun process, which was part of what invigorated me, um, I now have a structure and I've created order and I have a whole new sense of confidence and that's exuded to the people who I'm interacting with. Um, we got a project recently that's a $400,000 remodel and then another one last week that's a new winery. And I've never done a winery before, but these people were so confident about my process and my structure that I had to offer them and the questions that I was asking them that I got both of these projects with just a half hour phone consultation and a presentation of my system. And they both signed on. It's incredibly exciting to have new types of work coming in the door like that. As an expert, the outside world, I think, sees me differently. That's in large part to the newsletter that I sent out, just to 40 people. That was just two months ago, and we're about to send another one out. It's led to invitations to be a speaker at a city commission um, to talk about universal design, two board membership offers, um, and, uh, and I've got a magazine article coming out in Dwell. I was called for a, uh, for a quote from a journalist who works at Architect magazine. I was able, using the tools of the AMA, to convert that phone call from a quote into being the prime source for the whole article. And then the day that the article came out, I got a call from Madison, Wisconsin, uh, somebody who was organizing a symposium and wanted to have me there as a speaker. Amazing. These doors are opening up to new opportunities and new things that five or six months ago just weren't there. Um, so in sum, you know, I've got, I've got project opportunities that are happening. Project choice, I feel like I'm in more control. Uh, my billing is better. I'm celebrated by others, and that really feels great. Um, my frustration is gone, and I'm more organized, and so I'm more confident, and other people are more confident in me so I'm able to lead with universal design, but then transform it very easily into great design of all sorts, sculptural work that's meaningful to me as well. I feel like I'm the captain of my ship, and I haven't felt like that since I first started my firm, and that's a great thing. I mean, I think that's why all of us who start firms want to do it, because we want to control our destiny and control our days, and I feel like that's coming back to me. Um, for the first time in a long time, I feel hopeful about the future, about what the next six months certainly can bring, given the last six, and what the years after that um, have the potential for. So that's my story. Thanks for listening.